Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Okay, so auto logging in on your WordPress website using a unique login page. Okay, so let's do this. Now, I'm on my website right now and if I reload this page, nothing happens as if I'm a visitor. I cannot do anything about it. And when I go to a certain URL, login page right there and as you can see it automatically logs me in now I can access my dashboard right there so I did not add a username and a password and I automat I already logged into my entire website okay so let me show you how it's done but before doing that please hit that subscribe button below thanks Okay, so let me warn you first before doing it. Uh, this is not a bulletproof way on or a safe way on doing an auto login to your WordPress website. Actually, I don't recommend it. But there are times that you just want to do this because probably you got some sort of editor that you might want to create a post for you and you just want them uh, to automatically log in and do not create a username for them so that is this is how you do it so depending on the username or depending on the capability of the user you might want to give access to a certain URL and automatically log them in but on admin administrator side I'm not really sure if this is the right approach probably you might just want to stick with logging in with the normal username and a password okay but uh, I got two two versions of this the one is the regular the, or the basic one and then the other one is the enhanced wherein we integrate a little bit of security so you might want to use uh, or you can probably use this on an administrator uh, access actually I'm using it right now because of this certain feature that I have added on the code okay so yeah let's dive in let me show you the code first so this is the code and you don't need to really understand everything all you need to do is change this login name right here so you want to change this with your own login name it could be an email or just the, your regular login name and then the login URL so you can change this to whatever login page you might want to use it doesn't really need to be a page within WordPress website okay it doesn't need to be that actually I, I don't recommend using the existing pages on your website because that will be get indexed and using this process this existing process or using a URL that doesn't exist then that is a lot safer for you okay so just go ahead and type in whatever URL you might want to use just make it unique make it hard to guess something like that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this copy that and I'm just gonna head over to the dashboard I'm gonna go on appearance and then theme editor and then I'm just gonna go on theme functions and then just scroll down to the bare bottom and hit a couple of enter keys and then just paste it just hit the update file and then all you need to do is log out so i'm just gonna log out and then i'm just gonna revisit the url that i have used on this uh area right here so that is login page i'm just gonna copy that and then i'm just gonna hit the slash and login page and as you can see it automatically logs me into the back end of my website okay now let's talk about the enhanced version let's check the code and this is the code so what I did right here is I just added an IP address so what it means is that I can only use this login URL in my home computer so when somebody access the login page they will not be able to log in because the IP is a little bit different okay so 
to grab your own IP, just head over to whatismyipaddress.com and just copy the IP and then paste it right here. And again, do not delete those double quotes, okay? And as soon as you have done it, same process, just copy this entire code, copy that, and again, all you need to do is head back on your appearance, theme editor, you go to theme functions, and then you're going to delete the existing code if you tested the first uh, code. You need to delete this because it will throw an error if you got these two at the same time. So just use one of them. So if you tested this one, make sure you delete that right here. So just go down below and then do the same thing. Delete that and then paste this code and update and then test. Okay, so yeah, that is how we automatically log into our WordPress website. It's a little bit safe, although it's not bulletproof. I'm not sure where the hole is, but currently I'm using this code right here, uh, the enhanced one to automatically log into my WordPress website. So yeah, you might want to reconsider that. But again, do this at your own risk. Okay, I hope that helps and if you got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks and bye-bye.